Hey everyone, this is going to be a haul video and I'm going to show you um, different accessories that I've got, different homewares and different beauty products too. So we're into August now but July was a really busy month for me. Um, I have my holiday in California and LA. Hopefully um, some of you caught up with that on the blog and do check out my blogs about my um, travel experiences there. Um, we had an amazing time. I shopped loads and um, and also in July was my birthday so I turned the big 2 nine, 29 last year of my 20s um, actually it's next year is the the big one really isn't it the big 30 Um, so yes um, I got lots of lovely presents from family and friends so I'll show you some of those as well Um, so yeah let's get in and get started I think I'll show you the accessories first because they're my favorite um, so when we were, um, when Phil and I were in LA um, in our first week in California, we went to a beautiful place called Huntington Beach. There was loads of great surf shops and sporty type shops and I think it was in Billabong I actually spotted um, the most beautiful watch. It was this Nixon watch and I had never heard of the brand Nixon before. Um, but yes, they specialise in doing watches. They're a Californian brand. Um, so it made sense for me to buy it I think. Um, it's beautiful rose gold um, with an electric blue face and it's quite a fine watch. Kind of reminds me of the, the you know the classic Casio watches and um, yeah I just fell in love with it and Phil decided to buy me that as my early birthday present while we were away. So the only thing is I need to get it made smaller so I need to get some lengths cut out because at the minute it's super loose on me. When I got home then I asked my mum if she wouldn't mind buying me this necklace that I'd spotted. Um, I featured Bjorg jewellery before, I have quite a lot of their pendants and um, I spotted this acorn pendant on a beautiful silver chain and many of you will know I have affinity with acorns. The acorn egg, the features in my Willow Lane um, logo. Um, it symbolises you know, creativity, new beginnings, um, hidden potential and that sort of thing so I just think it's very apt. So here we have it here. It's a beautiful rose gold acorn. It's quite a small little one and it's um, matte at the bottom and then shiny on the little shell at the top and then it's on a silver necklace which just makes it even more different mixing the two um, metals and I just I just fell in love with it and thankfully my mum decided she would buy me it. Um, my mum tends to just ask me what I want for my birthday rather than going out and surprising me which I think is a good thing because it means I get something that I really do want. And then one other piece of jewellery I want to show you is this beautiful statement necklace from Argento which my best friend Carolyn bought. Uh, she runs the blog Forever Scarlet so uh, she always has good taste and always gets me something that is very me. and. Um, yeah, I love it. Perfect for summer and I look forward to wearing that with some dresses and some, you know, t-shirts and things like that. So I think that's really pretty. So, oh, and before I forget, <laughs> final accessory is these Mr. Kate beauty marks. Now, I'd never heard of them, but I was sent them kindly in the post. Um, Red Ruby Rouge, um, an online store, I sells these. So they're like temporary t tattoos, they come in, you can get them in gold, which I have here, you can get them in silver, you can get them in black. And they're just a really fun thing to play around with and great for going out, great for festivals or just, you know, at the weekend if you want to jazz up your outfit. Um, this is one of them, so there's like, a, there's about, there's a handful of um, tattoos that you can choose from and you can transfer under your skin. They transfer really easily, just put a wet cloth over the tattoo that you want to use. You cut it out first of all, place it on your skin and then put a wet cloth over it for about 30 seconds and then that's it, that's you. And they do last for a good few days, even through um, you know washes and things as well. But if you do just want it for a temporary time, just for the day, then you can easily take it off with baby oil, I'm told. So um, yeah, lots of little funky symbols and then I'll show you the second one, which you know, this is the one I've used in a few times, um, but I'm really looking forward to using this ram skull. There's a cool little key, a feather, and then there's some words as well. There's love and there's weird, and then just other cool symbols to put anywhere that you choose on your body, whether it's on your neck, on your back, on your leg, on your on your foot. Um, so 
for somebody like me who doesn't have tattoos or has never really played about with body art, they're a really fun thing to have. And uh, you'll see um, in my latest outfit post on Willow Lane, you'll see an example of how I placed one of the beauty marks on my body. So do check it out. Uh, so then we'll move on to makeup. While I was in the States, of course, I bought a few bits and pieces. Um, I got two items, two NYX items, a favourite of, of beauty bloggers. Um, and I personally have never um, had, you know, experienced NYX before, but I've heard such good things. Very cheap brand. Uh, so I brought this blush because I was looking for a corally blush. But this is lovely. It's a cinnamon, the colour cinnamon. And then I got this NYX G Finish um, Setting Spray. So it's supposed to set your makeup all day and make it last that little bit, little, little bit longer. And then it has a G Finish, which is my preferred finish. I'm not, not so much into the matte look. Um, so I really like this. It feels lovely when you spritz it onto your face. It feels very refreshing. Um, whether or not it really does, you know, do that much, I don't know. But I do like... I do like the feel of it on my skin when it goes on initially and um, and it, for only a couple of dollars I paid for it I thought I would try it out so that was those two and then I made a trip into Sephora of course very overwhelming I must say Sephora I've never been into Sephora before but just so many brands so many products um, I just ended up going for, for something from the Sephora range there, it was very um, reasonably priced range and I was looking out for sort of like a baby pink lipstick and I've got this lipstick that I chose on at the minute. I do really like it but I think now in hindsight it was a little bit too pale for me. I've got it on at the minute. Um, it's just called Sephora Rouge Shine number no. 4 but lovely colour for summer and to go alongside that I got a lip liner. Um, and it's number four candid candy very very pale wear it the the lipstick feels beautiful on there's a there is a shine a bit of a gloss to it which I like so those are my two items from Sephora I was very restrained but I just find like I said I find the store very overwhelming I could have went I spent a fortune but I held back um yes so um and then also I wanted to talk about this um, body wash which I recently purchased. This is my second one. I ran out on holiday. Um, it's a deep cleansing wash um, and it's called Proactive Solution by Rodham and Fields. And it's it's an all-over body wash for you know problem skin. I do not really suffer from spots so much on my face, but definitely at the top of my back I would get blemishes and spots. And um, I used to have this fantastic wash that the doctor prescribed me, but then they stopped doing it. And my got back got bad after a while again, so I decided to, I had to explore other options for myself. So I, I tracked this down in in Boots, and it is quite expensive. But I, I you know, luckily with the times I've went to buy it, there's been an offer on. So I think there was um I can't remember there was a few pounds off this one, so it brought it down to thirteen ninety nine. But it does last me quite a while. It has a good lather when I put it on my scrunchie. I always use a scrunchie. Um, in the shower and you know just within a few days of using it I can feel like my my back is clearing up and then also I was kindly sent these this little travel pack of shampoo conditioner and uh, styling oil which I would have loved to have had this for going on holiday this would have been brilliant because I have just had my hair lightly coloured and this shampoo and conditioner is for um, is for coloured hair it's to preserve the colour and but I've used it once already my my hair feels fantastic afterwards and um, really smooth and then the the styling oil in particular has left it feeling nice and smooth and nourished because at the ends are starting to get a little bit dry so I feel like it's time for me to get a trim but in the meantime um, it's great and then it, it comes in this handy little travel bag as well which is great always great to have these little things um, so yeah these are by Joko I don't know if I, if I pronounced that right, but they're called K-Pack Colour Therapy and I think for this little, for these three travel products, you're talking about £10. And then last but not least, I got a new hairdryer. It's a John Frieda 
hair dryer, quite a basic one, and but it was much needed by me. Um, I had been using this really heavy hair dryer for a few years. Don't know what possessed me to buy it, but I don't really use a hair dryer that often. I tend to let my hair dry naturally. But when I do blow my blow dry my hair, my arm gets such a workout from using this this other hair dryer that I was using. So I just thought, okay, I need to invest in a new one. Uh, this one was on offer in bites for about £35, I think. Um, I'll show you the box that it came in. So it's John Frieda Luxurious Volume, Visibly Full, Touch Be Soft, Salon Style, Lightweight Dryer. And we've got a diffuser um, and we've got some rollers, which I thought would be quite useful for giving a bit of volume at the top of my hair because it is quite long and thick. You know, it tends to go quite flat at the top, so I must try those out. So yeah, I feel like a new, a new person with a nice light hair dryer um, and it's just a nice plain black basic hair dryer. I didn't want anything super fancy because like I say, I'm not drying my hair every day um, and it would be foolish to spend lots and lots of money. And let us finish off with some new homewares. So first of all, I'll show you this beautiful Orla Keeley jar that my friend Carolyn, who again is from the blog Forever Scarlet, bought me. She knows I am absolutely dying about Orla Keeley. Um, and she, I have been coveting this jar for, for a long time, but just never bought it for myself. At the minute, I just got it on display in my retro sideboard in the dining room at the minute, um, where it looks fantastic. And oh, it's just so gorgeous. It's the beautiful stem pattern. Mustard is a key colour in my room, so again, she, she thought long and hard about buying me this. And then also, I got some beautiful homewares pieces from my other friend, Carol and um, Jennifer. She brought me this gorgeous little dish. It's from the Matthew Williamson home range in Debenhams, and it's got a lovely little bird on it. And I decided to keep to use this to keep my rings in. Up until recently, I kept a lot of my costume jewellery in cute little trinket um, dishes and vintage style dishes on my dressing table, but they just started to gather dust, and I just thought, oh, it's probably not best. Whilst it looks really pretty having all your jewellery out, it's not really good for them. Um, especially if you're not using them that often and they're gathering dust. So this is perfect. It looks good on my dressing table, but it has a lid so I can store things um, away nice and neatly and also it just keeps them away from dust. So that, I really love that. And then the other thing that she got me again was from Debenhams, the home range, not from, it's not the Matthew Williamson range, but it's this beautiful white ceramic deer um, dish. So the lid comes off like that. So again, I can store like bracelets and bangles and things in there and keeping them away from dust, but also making sure that it looks really pretty on my dressing table. And then finally, I was sent a beautiful candle holder from myluxe.co.uk, which is a beautiful online store selling um, a range of home accessories, jewellery, beautiful gifts. So do check them out. Um, but this is, yes, it's a cement. A candle holder and it just is enough room for a tea light holder and it just looks really chic it's very heavy it's really well made and I think I will definitely have this out in the evenings if I'm sitting in the garden I'll light the candle but similarly I may also just keep it in my um, bathroom or my kitchen as well on the windowsill I think it'll be lovely just to light a candle in the evening time well guys, that's my lot for the month of July. I was given a lot of beautiful things and I also purchased a lot of gorgeous things too. I hope you enjoyed having a little look at them all and until the next time, bye!